for the past probably year and a half, I've kind of had this internal, um, like, just seeking within myself, trying to figure out like what my bigger purpose is. And it's not just to be, you know, a fitness model and it's not just to, uh, to like get likes and comments on, you know, social media images or to have sponsorships. But I, I really wanted to have depth to what I was doing. And so I've been kind of just doing this waiting game. Um, you know, I, I just kept telling myself that time will take its course and I will learn what it is that I'm supposed to be doing and using my platform. Building my platform and um, my foundation of everything that I'm really passionate about. What is it that, um, what is it that I want to have an impact in and what do I want to stand up for? And um, as crazy as it sounds, I really just kind of um, woke up one day and I, I don't know if I had a dream or what was it, but I decided like I want to make this foundation, call it the Unbroken Foundation for Battered and Abused Women. I had an opportunity to go down to a shelter in North Carolina, Wrightsville Beach, and speak to these women with the board of directors, directors there. And uh, walking in those doors, I was really nervous. Uh, there's a lot of things, I've done a lot of speaking events in front of hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, you know, I've met with the big companies, CEOs, managers, you name it. But this is probably one of my top three. Um, I was really nervous walking in these doors because I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know, like, I, the, I didn't know if these women would, um, like, listen to what I had to say and I went in there not really having a plan and my main goal was to just talk to these women and remind them what their self-worth was and it was one of the most tear-jerking inspiring um, just conversations that I've had ever um, with this small group of women and the children were in there and so since then, I, I left and, um, you know, I asked uh, the board of directors that, that were there, I was like, you know what, I was like, if you guys could have one request, um, if you needed to help, if I could help you in any way, like what would be the first thing that you guys would reach out and say that you really needed help with? And it was a rainy day in North Carolina. Um, lo and behold, there was a big like trash cans, not just like trash baskets that you would, you know, have in the kitchen. I'm talking about big barrels, like garbage cans, catching water from the ceiling. And they said, you know what, Ashley, we need a new roof. And I said, done. I was like, we will get you a new roof. And um, that's what we did. And I've been, I had planned it out about two months in advance. And I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. And we had contractors come out there. We got a good quote, uh, multiple quotes. I uh, found a great company to go with, um, and that's when I set our budget for our goal. I guess our we actually have like a higher budget, but um, we set our goal for fifteen thousand dollars, and um, you guys helped me raise above and beyond that. And um, I am sitting here in my hotel room three days after my two hundred and eighty mile run, and you guys helped me raise eighteen thousand dollars for this house. And um, for that, I am forever thankful. So stay tuned. Check out my next V blog on what went down um, when I ran the 280 miles. Um, I may or may not have gone a little crazy. Um, but yeah, check it out.